Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 from USB on a new computer or even an existing computer with an existing drive which may have a different operating system on there including Windows but I'm going to show you how to completely format that to restart from scratch and this tutorial will work on a desktop computer or even a laptop and I'm going to make this so simple for you that you're going to want to subscribe twice. Let's take it out. Hey NipTechs, welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, and on this channel we do reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech so if you want to unleash your true potential, start by subscribing, enable the bell notification icon so that I can help you go from newbie to techie. I do have some major disclaimers for this video but I'm going to leave them to the end so make sure you watch them otherwise I don't want to see any negative comments, yeah, only good ones. For those of you who are following us from part 18 of the One PC to them or Challenge series, I've disconnected the back two SATA drives by unplugging the power cable I've left the main one here I hope you can see that I'll show you in the front that's the main one I've left which is the same 240 gigabyte SSD from SanDisk and I've also removed the NVMe M.2 drive from Crucial 1 terabyte so you guys should not be confused because we've only left one drive and it's going to be really simple and really easy so for this tutorial you're going to need a computer desktop or laptop brand new or existing you're going to need at least one drive we prefer an SSD for speed and performance but it will also work on an existing hard drive or a new hard drive you will also need a Windows 10 installation USB flash drive and the code above or the description below will point you to the correct tutorial for that. You will need a Windows 10 license key and you're going to need an internet connection to validate the license and digitally sign your computer with Microsoft. So grab your USB installation disk and insert into a port on your computer. A front USB port will work usually unless if it's a new build and you haven't tested the port or you may not have tested whether it's connected to your motherboard in which case I would advise that you connect the USB in a back USB port instead. Obviously 3.0 USB here should work on a 3.0 I know it works in this one but if it doesn't work use a 2.0 preferably at the back. You're of course going to need also a keyboard and a mouse. Now turn on your computer and wait for the magic to happen. Now in theory, if it's a new computer, if it's a new disk and you've got nothing else, it should boot straight into your USB drive. We've just had a beep code for good post and we should see the kind of purple window logo for the first installation aspect. There we go. So if you have this, then you're good to go. We can move to the next step. However, if you don't see this window and hopefully you know that your USB drive should be working because you've tested it when you created the installation disk, then it could be that your boot order of your motherboard is not set up properly, in which case you're gonna have to restart and select the correct boot order. So let me show you how to do this. We're gonna restart the computer or you can just switch off and restart on yours. Now on this motherboard, we're gonna press F11 to go onto the boot order and this is the msi b450 tomahawk we've had the um boot post there and now as you can see by pressing f11 i've accessed the boot order menu and there i can see that uefi kingston data traveler that's my usb installation drive so i can click on this to select that now for your particular motherboard you may have to press anything like f12 f8 even ese key or any other combination of keys you should check your manual for your boot order selection now if that doesn't work you may want to restart your computer i'm going to show you how to enter uefi or bios so we're going to restart the computer here and this time you may need to press something like the delete key or again on rare occasions it could be something different on your computer if it's a laptop sometimes the f2 key check your manual we've got the beep and now we go into the bios or the boot menu now we've got an easy mode and advanced mode and by pressing f7 you can swap between easy and advanced mode i would advise you to go to the advanced mode and click on settings and once you're there maybe look for something like a boot order or drive whatever you've got on your system we're going to click on boot and as you can see what we're trying to locate now is your usb drive can your system detect it it could be anywhere like in the boot option and i can see right now for example i've got boot option 3 uefi there you go kingston data traveler so it's not the first selected boot so you may need to click on that and then 
select it as your first boot order now if you can't find that go further down and scroll down maybe you need to look at uef our usb key drive bbs priorities just make sure it's there and in our case it is there and you you have uefi kingston data traveler there you go just saying that if you don't find your usb on your boot order and if it's not booting up it could be simply a question of setting the correct boot order in your bios or uefi and once you've made the necessary changes then you can hit something like f10 on your keyboard it's going to ask you to save if you've not done any changes there's nothing to save so i'm just going to reboot this and hopefully we should be fine we should now again boot straight into the usb drive and start this installation beep enjoy the rgb there we go right why purple windows got weird schemes so from this stage it will be a few clicks and you'll be on the windows desktop in no time at all so by default you're gonna get your country's uh, language and uh, etc just click on uh, default or change if you have to and here you're gonna get install now or repair your computer so we're gonna need to install now and let windows do its thing say so setup will be starting and here is where you can uh, input your windows key that you've bought or you obtain legally hopefully now i'm not going to do this just yet you have an option to do this later once you've installed windows and are onto the desktop which i'm going to prefer but you can manually input that here if you wish to so i'm going to say i don't have a key and now you need to select your operating systems version our one is windows 10 pro accept the license click on next and further to options upgrade or custom now unless you're upgrading from a previous windows version you're going to select that but we're not we're doing a fresh installation or a new installation so click on custom and now if you only have one drive this is what you're going to get an unformatted single drive it would say usually drive zero unallocated space however if you're installing on an existing drive or an existing computer or laptop you may get something with different partitions on your drive then i'm going to show you what to do to format the partitions and start from scratch but do bear in mind all your data will be wiped off so there are a couple of ways to do this but since you're at this stage you can do it straight by clicking on each of the drive and uh, select delete so for example drive zero and click on delete and it's going to tell you yeah everything will be deleted it's just okay and it's going to do the whole thing and then you see now it's uh, left as unallocated space but you want to delete everything because if you're completely uh, starting from scratch so just go ahead and delete everything so just click on every partition and delete everything and once you're done you're going to be left with this single drive which is the same as you would get with a completely new drive so now go ahead and click on next you don't have to click on new if you want to you can do this but windows will automatically do it for you just click on next and now windows is going to start copying files onto your drive and you can go grab some tea and biscuits and please invite me if you're in london even if you're not you can pay for a ticket for me i'll come over and we'll have some hangout time what do you say so hopefully this should probably take about five minutes or less and it will restart automatically so we'll get back here when it does that by the way if anyone knows how to film a screen without all these weird blue and black you know, bars uh, let me know because i haven't figured that one yet maybe it's the screen maybe it's the camera maybe it's a setting so please let me know in the comments below right that was really fast so you know i think about four minutes maybe a little bit more give or take and it's going to automatically restart so let it do its thing and windows is restarting and you can leave the drive in there or take it off when your computer switches off but you don't have to it should automatically restart except if it doesn't they go boot if it doesn't if you find that it goes back into the same windows installation window then you probably need to switch off your computer and take off your drive at this stage but i'm going to leave mine on for a reason which will be clear in a few minutes now guys while windows wait to do the setup do remember this is going to be an express installation out of the box as windows want you to use it now this is not the best way to use windows and i will do the disclaimer at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that okay so windows is restarting again for the third time and hopefully now we should boot up into the initial setup window just a moment okay 
right at this stage you're going to get a bunch of options to click on so now you can just need to choose your region within uk click on yes just a moment select your keyboard layout uk yes do you want to add a second keyboard layout nope skip that okay i just realized i didn't have the internet connected uh, so you probably need to make sure your internet is connected and it might take a bit longer to do the initial installation but you know that should be a problem because once windows is booted into they are going to be doing the updates so now we've got internet connection let's click on next and of course gonna have some important setting up to do i'm sure most of you will be doing a personal use not organization here so select that and click on next now this bit i'm not interested in using microsoft to sign in so i'm going to do an offline account but if you do have a microsoft account or an outlook whatever it is and you want to use this across all your platforms feel free to input your personal information and good luck with privacy concerns so i'm going to do offline account and it's still going to ask me to use Microsoft uh, signing instead. I'm going to say no, not for now. Anyway, now this is a mistake a lot of people make at this stage is that they only create one account for their PC, which is both the admin and the user account. And this is a bad idea for security reasons. You always want to have an admin account and then each user for the computer create a separate local user account for them and give them whatever access you want to give them whether it's restricted or some access just to show you i'm going to create an admin account i will call it admin for now okay and click on next and you should create a password for that first setup and then you can add local users later so i'm going to add a password and click on next and i'm going to confirm the password and again next and it's going to ask me for some security questions. Okay, fine. Let's, okay, I'm going to blur all of this while I input some answers. Now, this bit is if you want to have the same experience across all your devices. So, we're just going to click on yes for now because I haven't got anything Windows related, really. And do you want help from your digital assistant? Like I said, this is express setting. Just accept. Just, you know, what if you want to do this. Do more with us. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget that we're going to do another one later where we're going to customize all of this yes 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 spy on the windows yes 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 my god yes full 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 yes spy on me yes 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 link give me adverts yes 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 ply me okay Woo, i've never had to say so many yeses see you in a few minutes now I'm just going to do some initial setup this may take several minutes we don't like to wait almost there it's teasing us it's teasing us man okay wow okay that's new i did not know i haven't seen the build 1903 um all right that's new the background color is different much lighter blue sky blue is called not as dark blue okay so at this stage to activate the license you need to input the product key so a few ways to do this we're just going to try one of the ways so just right click on there and go to settings and then it says windows isn't activated so we're going to click on that and uh, here it says change the product key now remember when we did the installation drive for windows i said use a 16 gigabyte you can add other files and stuff now i've got a product key so i'm going to click on uh, the windows explorer and go to my uh, drive the installation drive and go to the win 1064 apps and on there i've got the product key here but i'm going to blur all of this because all i'm going to do is copy that and then i'm going to input it in the change product key window so the magic of pasting and obviously this is all blurred and i'm going to click on next hopefully it should activate the license and it says activating windows you get the best experience yeah 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 activate come on activate and screen off while it's activating or whatever the heck it's done and uh, still activating and i think we are successful windows has been activated yippee kaya yay mother trucker close this so windows is activated and this is now your new windows 10 ready to go now one more thing you could do now if you've used express setting is to again right click and then you go to settings and what you want to do is add an admin person so you go to accounts and you want to add uh, someone so family and other users whoever you want to add right now add someone else to this pc this is where you add your people even yourself if you want and uh, do you want to use their microsoft information to add no i don't have it say you don't have it 
and then create a local account say no add without a microsoft account and then still who's going to use this pc i don't know i'm going to call myself ash because that's what i like right now for the user i don't care about the password they can do that on their own time if they want so this is just going to be a local user with limited access so click on next and then you're done so to check that we can log off click on the stop menu click on this little icon up here and then click on sign out and we see if it has created another account click on enter or click on the main screen somewhere and so as you can tell we've got an admin account and also we've got ash as a local user please do not forget to do this step it is very important never ever use the same account for your admin privileges and for your main usage or never add people on there with admin privileges unless you know they are going to be administrators and that's it for today's tutorial so your computer may do occasional restart with updates you know the usual nonsense but we'll keep that for another time another tutorial okay disclaimer time so number uno you should not be installing windows 10 the way i've done it today which means kind of a semi express setup the reason is because there are one privacy concerns and two performance concern in terms of uh, bloatware and unnecessary background processors with a out of the box uh, windows installation now you may be okay with this if you've got very good hardware and if you're not concerned much about privacy stuff there are some controversies about it but there are some people who will suffer in terms of both their personal information and also the performance especially if you've got slightly older hardware now in a future video i'm going to do a more custom installation of windows 10 where we're going to make it hopefully more secure and lighter and faster so stay tuned for that i will release updates on the channel or on social media disclaimer number two the reason i did this semi express setup today was to test out a windows 10 product key that i received from a company so now i've tested it i can go back to them maybe we're going to do a review and then i can tell you guys where to get some cheap windows 10 license keys Disclaimer number three, if you do have privacy concerns and license fees concerns, then why are you trying to use Windows in the first place? There are options and I've talked about this in that video up there, also in the description below, go and watch it. Spoiler alert, you may need to use Linux. And now for some slight news update for the channel. Now I will continue the daily upload for the month of August. We've got a few days, about a week or so left. Whether I will continue to do the daily one PC to rule them or challenge series episodes is a different story because I have a couple of requests from companies to do a couple of reviews, which we may need to do because of deadline stuff. However, I have mentioned before, I was thinking about joining Patreon and I'm hoping that some of you would want to support me on there because everything that I will get from you guys will be put back into the channel for your benefit so i may start on patreon in september just giving you the heads up it's not entirely sure and i may decide to continue this series focus on patreon rather than on youtube because it's going to be a lot more kind of niche content for a very targeted audience not everyone is going to want to watch videos about a triple boot system on a single computer and uh, giving that experience and a comparison between the three os and then hopefully deciding which one is objectively better can we be objective i don't know one way to find out but i will let you know i will update you nothing is for certain but i do definitely want to start try increasing other revenue uh, sources because this you know youtube thing with the adsense that's not working out you know what i'm saying as for the vote for today not decided yet as usual check the community tab or the description if i leave one for you guys to vote for the next episode of the series right i think you should have had enough of me by now if you're still here thank you so much for staying before you go make sure you check out this video and also this series and please remember to subscribe enable the bell notification icon and use my amazon affiliate link in the description below once again thank you so much for watching this was ash from hill my tech helping you go from newbie to a techie until next time peace out